So implant retained dentures are dentures that are kept in your mouth via some mini implants that go inside your jaw. You may want to have an implant retained denture to help hold the denture in place. Sometimes when you have a lot of bone loss, you may find the denture slip and slide inside your mouth. Um, implants can help to retain the denture in a certain position so that you can chew and speak more effectively without the dentures moving around inside your mouth. Implant retained dentures stay in place via the actual implants, the mini implants in the jaw, engaging with um, the fixings on the underside of the actual denture. So the actual dentures would be sort of fixed onto the implants while they're inside your mouth. There are two different types of dentures. So you can have ball retained dentures where you have um, little balls on the end of the implants, or you can have bar retained dentures where you have a bar running across the two implants um, and your denture would fix to them differently depending on which fixings you have on the underside of your denture. Implant retained dentures um, involve several appointments. You would first need to go and see your surgeon to have the implants um, placed. Sometimes you'd need to wait up to three months for the implants to integrate with the bone, and then you can have the um, dentures made in the normal denture process of having um, four visits and several impressions of having the um, actual denture part made of the implant denture, um, implant retained dentures. Some complete dentures can be adapted to become implant retained dentures, but you would need to go and speak to your dentist to see whether that is possible for you. Even if you have implant retained dentures, it's really important that you clean around your denture and make sure that you remove all food particles and make sure that you clean around your implants well and clean the, around your denture very well as well. And you should remove them and leave them out at night time. It's really important that you maintain your dental checkups with implant retained dentures, especially to um, go and check the integrity of your implants and make sure that they're still well fixed. Typically, you can't get implant retained uh, dentures on the NHS. They would usually be a more private option, but you'd have to discuss with your dentist your options. The cost of implant retained dentures is down to your personal circumstances, how many teeth you have missing and your bone levels as well. Implant retained dentures can cost privately anything from £4,000 upwards.